Now today, ABC 10 got to go inside the new hospital in Marquette, and it's just about ready to be officially open. The $330 million hospital is on its way to opening its doors, and it's going to make a huge impact on the health and life-saving services for the UP. Even the staff has been very excited on seeing this facility develop from the ground up. It's, it's been very exciting. So, you know, it's very rare that you have the opportunity to see a hospital, you know, start from the ground up until opening. And so, um, you know, for our staff and our community to be able to experience that, I think is absolutely wonderful. Uh, this is really like a once in a lifetime opportunity for our staff. To add on to the excitement, patients will be happy to know that this facility was designed to accommodate patients' comfort and allowing them to have less stress when recovering. So this whole facility was built with uh, the patient's comfort in mind. I think one of the biggest things folks will see is just the ability to navigate the facility with ease. Everything can be accessed off this main corridor that we're in right now. Uh, wayfinding is just, it's a significant improvement over what people are seeing today at the existing hospital. The new hospital has 275 beds and they will be private rooms, which will allow patients to have their own space to themselves while visiting. Not only that, but this new facility will house state-of-the-art equipment that will be able to help the communities of the UP with almost any medical needs. We are uh, the UP's only what we call regional tertiary facility, uh, offering complex services in heart and vascular, uh, cancer care, brain and spine, among, among others. And so really what we've built here is a destination center for all of our, all of our communities across the UP. Now the facility also has a new helipad that will be utilized for patients in the emergency situations to be transported to and from the hospital. Today the hospital is also starting a training session known as a day in the life, which is preparing the staff for any possible situations with their new surroundings. So our top priority right now is definitely getting our, our own people acclimated and comfortable in their space. So that's what Day in the Life is all about, making sure that we identify any opportunities for improvement, uh, making sure that our staff know where to go, uh, and making sure that when we do move all those patients from up the hill down to here, uh, it's a safe and seamless transition. This goal wouldn't be possible if it wasn't for all the time and effort from the staff and the community supporting this endeavor to build a unique facility for the UP. I think I just want to thank all of our staff, you know, thank the community for, you know, supporting the hospital. Uh, you know, we could not do that, you know, or even participate even in this day with all of our staff. So they've worked really hard. If you see any of our UP Health System staff out about in the community, please thank them because this is a second job for them on top of taking you know, care of patients every day. And if it wasn't for them, you know, we won't be as successful as we have been. So please do thank the staff that work here.